Members of the military were among the first to cast their ballots as Belarus began five days of early voting ahead of a presidential election on August the 9th. But the opposition has urged people not to vote early, alleging it's part of a refined system of electoral fraud that has kept President Alexander Lukashenko in power for the past 26 years. Over five nights before the main polling day, the ballot boxes are completely unsupervised. The opposition says that even if they have a representative on the staff of the polling station during the day, it's of little help. Он сидит все досрочное голосование, не выходя из кабинета, и фиксирует каждого человека, который опускает бюллетень в ящик для досрочного голосования. Он зафиксировал, что сегодня, вот в один день, голосовал 25 человек. В конце дня председатель комиссии вывешивает протокол, сколько человек получило бюллетень. И в этом протоколе стоит цифра 100. Откуда? Ну, просто 100, не откуда. Они фальсифицируют каждый день явку. Ящики для досрочного голосования ночью где-то хранятся, понимаете? It's not just the opposition raising these issues. After parliamentary elections last year, OSCE observers witnessed lower turnout than officially reported and noted that ballot boxes were not protected overnight to ensure the inviolability of election materials. International observers have not been invited to monitor this vote and have regarded no Belarusian election since 1994 to be free and fair. Mikolai Kazlu was a police officer when he served on a local election commission during the 2008 parliamentary elections, which were slammed by the OSCE as undemocratic. Считая, что мы на одной стороне, сказала это абсолютно открыто, четко, отчетливо. И когда услышала отказ, сначала звонить своим там кураторам. Те позвонили руководству МВД. В результате мне отдали прямой приказ. Мой начальник отдал прямой приказ о том, чтобы я передал ключи председателю комиссии. И я видел, как эти люди, председатели, заместитель председателя, просто заталкивали бюллетени в урны. Activists also criticise the logistics of early voting. They say state employees, such as soldiers, bureaucrats or teachers, are corralled into polling stations and told by their superiors how to vote. В маленьких городах работники госпредприятий, городообразующих, они, как правило, голосуют досрочно. И это как минимум такая бездонный источник административного ресурса. There have been calls for years for cameras in polling stations to provide online live streams, but the authorities have refused. President Lukashenko has now been elected five times, with official results giving him an enormous share of the votes. Many previous challengers have ended up in prison, and more than a thousand opposition activists have been arrested ahead of this election. Authorities refused to register promising opposition candidates like Siare Sikhanuski, who was also jailed. But the recent Minsk rally by his wife, opposition candidate Svetlana Tsikhanuskaya, who is running in his place, drew what's believed to be the biggest crowd in decades. Люди проснулись, они больше не хотят жить в страхах, унижении. Они хотят чувствовать себя людьми в своей стране. Tikhanuskaya has said that she and her supporters want one thing above all else, genuinely democratic elections.